welcome back to Vanessa Moon Tarot. My name is Vanessa. I hope you guys are having a great holiday if you celebrate the holiday season. If not, I hope you're having a great end of the decade because it has been a doozy. So this is just a quick read to uh, see where you, what direction um, or what advice you need regarding your mind, your body, and your soul going into 2020. This is not a 2020 yearly forecast because I don't really believe in those. Um, this is also not a January overall energy read. This is not a general read for that. I will be doing those next. Um, this is just to see, you know, what obstacle or what challenge or what goal are we trying to attain regarding 2020 and what energy do we need to overcome regarding our mind, body, and soul or just advice for each and then overall advice going into uh, 2020. So here we go it's just like what have we learned you know that kind of thing what can we what can help us going forward so i'll be pulling from this deck um the black moon astrology deck my favorite oracle deck wisdom of the oracle and i'm gonna pull one romance angel just because those are always fun and i'm gonna pull from i don't even know what this tarot deck is called i can't remember but this tarot deck I can't. It's really cute though. It's like silvery and it's got okay. I gotta remember what that's called one day. And then this is called the Luna Soul Tarot, okay? So I'm gonna pull one card from each of those and then we shall get started. All right, Taurus. Let's do this. Let's do this. Fine. Mm. Body. Everybody's getting the same card for their body. Got the same card as Aries. So, um, obstacle, or obstacle or challenge and advice. Now, because these are astrology cards, um, wow, two came out. I'll take that. Um, because these are astrology cards, um, they will say like the sign on them. For example, you got um as your challenge cancer, I feel. I mean, so maybe you're dealing with the cancer, but that's really not what it's about. Um, it's just about the energy of that house or that sign, right? All right. Let's get you some more. I always feel like I should start pulling these off camera just because, um, you know, sometimes it feels like I'm taking forever, but oh well, y'all just got to deal with it because I like pulling the energy right on camera. I really do. So one more to pull and then we're good and I'll show them to you. All right. So... For the obstacle you're facing, you got the Cancer I Feel card. So that's a number 16, bring it down to a 7. So that has to do with your life path, where you want to go in life. Um, and then you got Building Blocks, okay, number 28. Then you got the Chariot, another number 7, and you got the Six of Swords. So this is a, breaks down to a 10 because it's 28 or a 1, whatever you want to call it. All right, so with cancer, I feel, and building blocks in your challenge or obstacle or goal, right? So this is telling me you are trying to build up a home situation, okay? That's the energy of the home, and you want to build up your family, um, your temple, your sense of what your stability is, right? And you're planting these seeds now, rebuilding or taking things one at a time is the advice with this card. Like, take things brick by brick. OK, so that's like our, our challenge, because it's saying here we're going to move to um, with the chariot. Things are things are finally moving full speed ahead. You're getting full control of the situation. This is also a cancer card. So you got two cancer cards here. Right. So I feel I have control. I feel I can do this. Cancer is like things that happen fast. Right. So Taurus is taking on that Cancerian energy going into 2020 where they want to let go of the, all the drama of the past. OK, even if they feel like they're walking on eggshells to get there, they don't care. They're good in there anyway. That's that same energy movement movement. Right. 
because you have the chariot here like i said movement taking the reins of your life and getting a real sense of direction um this is like a car driving here right some of you could be getting a new car too but i mean this is the energy of really shedding light on the things um the both sides of the coin here or yin and yang energy right divine feminine divine masculine and 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 marrying that energy to the point where things start progressively happening for you so within yourself that could be really you know getting to know your masculine side your your feminine side balancing it out feeling it out right like a cancer does and really intuitively knowing what to do with it what to do with that energy so that you can accomplish things brick by brick because when you build things very very brick by brick this is all the same foundational energy cancers of the fourth house right um so this is foundational energy of bound like fours represent um stability um a structure so this is building up a structure one by one so if i were to like just guess you guys are really trying to build some type of new foundational energy for yourself this year at least getting the year started and so you know it says you really have a good chance at that all those cards say just keep keep learn from the drama of the past though okay and don't um and spiritually make peace with it and just move forward so on your mind, you have 8th house, endings and beginnings, energy of 5, because it's 32, so that's kind of chaotic energy. Um, but 8th house is a house of Scorpio, death and rebirth, okay? So you're transmuting energy right now in your mind so that you can get out of the doldrums and get into a be better than ever, and that's beautiful. Um, and then we have 45, time to go. So I can see right here, like, this is a lot of movement, guys. Again, a lot of movement beginning um, 2020. With the chariot here, okay? Movement here, movement there, okay? And that's singular movement, okay? So you're you're doing what's best for you, honey. Um, two cards came out in your, uh, for the tarot advice here. So I will tell you, I will tell, oh no, I'm sorry, one card. So you got nine of pentacles again, which, I, well, not again, but I said energy of nine. So that's like literally like t um, independent energy, like taking on the world, um, doing what's best for you, but um, getting all your like creature comforts and your um, building up your surroundings. Again, energy of the home too, like building up your home the way you want it, getting it comfortable the way you want it, getting your living life uh, comfortably because you work hard and you can afford to live the lifestyle you want independently, okay? And then this is Queen of Wands too. So we have Queen of Wands here, which she is this is a super attractive, free-spirited um, queen that is very uh, energetic, very sexy, gets what she wants, very social, and just kind of takes life... Um, and does life her own way and her does her own thing and doesn't apologize for it right so i see that energy here you're you're are this is a very lot of movement I, like i almost feel rushed talking about it because it's like you have these endings and these beginnings and then you have it's time to go i gotta go i gotta go now i gotta make this happen now this is singular energy of just doing everything you need to do for yourself and free spiritedly and not been apologetic unapologetically and feeling great and looking good and smelling good while you do it right so that's on your mind in your body you have um sacrifice energy of 10 so you're completing something and it took a lot of sacrifice so no more sacrificing your body guys or no that's also the energy of don't say yes to everything okay use discernment because you got queen of swords here okay um the queen of swords means she's been through a whole lot and she uses the things she's known she uses her logic her skill she's got super super crazy instinct her mind is insane because she just is so smart about all the things she's been through some hard times and she's not accepting see that well, owls for wisdom so she's only accepting the truth and she's only accepting things that really work for her okay so that's what they're saying with this sacrifice no longer sacrificing your body for others your only things that serve you that's a big message in regards to your body um, and then this says in the past, you may have done that a lot with the six of cups, right? Sacrifice this is energy of sacrificing for family, sacrificing for home, sacrificing for children and sacrificing for some deep childhood wounds, some wounds, for, um, that you, that have turned you kind of cold, right? So this is your body energy, right? So you want to, there might be some bad habits you picked up in childhood. There may be some, um, things that you need to unlearn. Okay. And here we have all that glitter isn't gold, all that glitter. So we have number 16 breaking down to a seven, that's life path energy. So on your life path, you may have 
always gone for the best looking thing or the best um, most attractive thing or you might al always want to buy you know show that you have material things to show that you, to show your worth just saying this is that energy with the queen of swords you're cutting down to what you really matters she always looks good by the way but you're cutting down to what really matters because after what you've been through you know all that glitters ain't gold you want things and people in your life that really serve you okay so that's your body knowing that if you you might have to sacrifice all the things that you think you want in order to feel good okay in order to get back to that that area of innocence in your life where things were just easy and free the six of cups and using your queen of swords discernment the Libra energy balancing things out so then we have your soul what do we have going on with your soul going into 2020 we have 12th house escape wow so that was the energy of nine right there so nine is singular energy it's also like this is like the hermit card okay so then you have by the book number 11 so basically okay and you have the ace of one i'm sorry ace of swords and the eight of pentacles so this is like clarity and realization and this is hard work okay so on your soul you're ready to put it you realize that you're ready to put in the work you need to do um and you really you need they're saying you need to do things in a step-by-step -step process don't get overwhelmed with this 12th house and house house energy so 12th house energy means that you're right at the brink of starting something a whole new cycle you are right at the brink but this is the place where we tend to get stuck in this 12th house energy it's very dreamy energy it's very um it brings up the things deep down within and the ethers like it, it makes you think of the past over and over again and you get kind of stuck in the ghost of the past. They're saying in your soul, you're going to have to do things by the book, right? Um, in order to kind of pull yourself out of that and start and, and have a realization that it's going to take a lot of effort to keep up what you've already started, okay? I don't know why that message came through like that, but that's how I won't even read that typically that way, but that's how that came out. And then for your advice. So you got two cards here that came out with the astrology deck. So they're saying, they're eclipse change. Again, life path energy number seven. And Uranus genius. Okay. So this change, this, okay. So here's the thing. This is a big message too. This is your advice. So already we're seeing that going into 2020, just so you know, on January 10th, we do have a lunar eclipse in Cancer. Yeah, so maybe there's something big happening for you on the lunar eclipse. Some of you need to look out um, January 10th, around that time, uh, two weeks after that time. Um, well, really, lunar eclipse will last up to six months, but there's going to be some, a lot of movement in your life in regards to the um, January 10th, because you got a lot of cancer energy here. So you have this cancer, I feel, card, this chariot card, all this foundational energy, fourth house energy. And then you have this lunar eclipse change. Okay, so this lunar eclipse is going gonna, is gonna to bring you some megawatt change. I, I can see movement here. New home, new lifestyle, new friends, building a new life, building a new job, building a new house, some of you. Um, but they're saying that you're going to have to really use your brain here, your brain smarts. Okay, this is an independent operation when it comes to what you want. Because Aquarius, this is an Aquarius card. Uranus represents Aquarius, and that's thinking outside of the box always so you're gonna have to really use your discernment like that queen of swords was there and you're gonna have to think you're gonna have to use your own genius because this is a nine and you're gonna have to really drive this operation in order for it to fully change so th maybe it could be changing is that you're finally taking the reins you're finally the one in charge taurus maybe you always were the one in charge but it's going to be your genius that gets you gets you through this process it's because you have deep knowing here. Another seven. So that's seven, 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 seven. All these sevens I'm not even going to count. That is definitely life path energy. That's also soulmate energy. Hold up. So you guys could be meeting a soulmate coming up soon. I don't know. Big changes according to this spread, especially regarding the lunar eclipse at the top of the year, January 10th. Deep knowing. So you're going to have to use everything you know deep down inside. Your intuition is going to be so on point that if you don't listen to it, you're going to be mad that you didn't. 
That's all I'm going to say. And this is a Ten of Wands. You're overloaded, Ten of Wands, with this Five of Swords situation. You're overloaded with the... You're tired of the mind games. You're tired of being overburdened with responsibilities. You're tired of people taking advantage of you. You're tired of the petty ego fights and petty power struggles. And you're getting through this at all costs. <laughs> That's what it's saying. Use your genius. It's really going to be valuable to you this time. So your love card for your advice for the from the romance angel says your love life is being in blah, 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 blah. religious factors. Your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Um, this is just saying that you're gonna have to really trust yourself. Okay, like you're gonna have to trust your own belief system, your own values when it comes to your love life. Big time. If you don't, it will fail. That's what I've seen with that card. It's like, that's when people um, need to remember to be true to themselves, okay? So that is your message for going into 2020. I hope that helps. And I'll see you for the January read. So check out me out, check me out on Patreon, Vanessa Moon, and book a reading with me at vanessamoonzone.com. I will talk to you all later.